The topic is structure of a seed. Plants grow from seeds. The outer hard covering of a seed is called seed coat. Seed coat protects the seed from rough surfaces so it is hard. Here we can see in the image this outermost covering is called as seed coat. Below the seed coat there are two seed leaves called as cotyledons. Seed leaves store food for baby plant so they are fat. Here we can see these structures are called as cotyledon. When we split open seed leaves, we find baby plant with a tiny shoot and tiny root. This over here is the baby plant. Depending on the number of cotyledons, seed is divided into two category that is monocot seed and dicot seed. The seeds which have two seed leaves or cotyledons are called dicot or dicotyledonous seeds while those with one are called monocot or monocotyledonous seeds. Pea, bean, gram are example of dicot seeds whereas maize, barley, oat, rice and wheat are example of monocot seeds. Here in this image we can see that first seed is the dicot seed because it has two cotyledons whereas second seed is monocot seed because it has one cotyledon. When a seed gets air, water and warmth, the baby plant inside it comes out tearing the seed coat and grows into a new plant. This process is called germination. The baby root comes out of the seed and grows downward and it is called radical whereas the baby shoot grows upward and it is called plumule. Here in this image we can observe radical. This part is the radical whereas this part is called as plumule. Thus a baby plant with a small root and a small shoot is called seedling. The seed leaves dry up and fall off because growing seedling uses all the food stored in them. And now seedling grows green leaves that makes food for it. We can see that over here that these seed leaves are going to fall off and then the seedling is going to grow new green leaves.